That was a little closer than 126 as they've gone under that banner. Oh! Oh, oh the passive crash there. What has happened? Right on oh. the side of the road there. Look at this. I don't know what happened there. They maybe they clipped the crowd, but whatever has happened, they are in a right mess down there at the moment now. How many riders? Let's hope. That is a massive crash, Bob. It's completely... It was a jumbo Visma ride. It wasn't Roglic, was it? I think that was Tony because Martin. Because the whole... What happened? That just went it could down. could have been Tony Martin. Yes, it could have been. And it just, he just hit the side of the road and lost Weather? the front wheel. What was it? You can see right on the... It looked like pilot Near era. the front. Watch him try to get around his teammate and go down. Oh, he might have clipped that spectator. He went off the road. Oh. I think he went off the road. The road has got a nasty ridge on it there. Nasty ridge. Now, the question is, what's going to happen? How many people are going to get back oh, up? Right, that sign right there, Phil. Your left of your oh! Oh, my, oh, my goodness <laughs> me. Get the fuck oh. out of here. It was the sign that the rider in front hit. <laughs> yes. And that is the result. And taking down the taking down one of the top teams in the race and somewhere very close to that situation was definitely Primoz Roglic. As you can see the whole race has stopped here. Well, let's see if they don't neutralize the proceedings while they I mean that's a massive pile up. Well, let, let's see if Adam Blythe can throw any light on this. Adam, back to you. Yeah, Adam, back to you. God damn, what happened? Get the fuck out of here. That was epic. A spectator, for those not watching the video right now, a spectator at the Tour de France caused a massive crash involving dozens of cyclists, and um, the authorities plan to sue her fucking ass. Uh, Tour de France Deputy Director Pierre-Yves Stuart uh, told the AFP news agency they plan to sue the woman so that the tiny minority of people who do this don't spoil the show for the rest of us. Uh, however, French publication Quest France reported the woman, who is believed to be German, those fucking Germans, shout out to England to beat, uh, who beat Germany in the Euros today. Holla at your squad. <laughs> Football's coming down, mate. Right. Yeah, that's right, fucking Germans. The woman's believed to be German. Uh, she got on a flight, though, and she is untraceable. This bitch fled the country. Get the fuck out of here. Out of there. She's fucking out of there, folks. This video shows the woman who held a long banner on the sidelines, uh, sidelines of the race stuck the banner out a little too far, just a little too far, causing German cyclists, damn, of all the fucking bikes there, this German lady had to sabotage another German. Get the fuck out of here. here. That is the most German shit I ever heard of. <laughs> oh, you mean a German came out and sabotaged, sabotaged another German? That's mad German. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Uh, that doesn't really make sense, and I don't care, but it just sounds funny in my head. Um, so she, she, she got Tony Martin to crash right into the sign. He fell off and set off a fucking domino effect for all the competitors as a cyclist behind him also fell. The sign, what did you think it was? Was it like that Greenpeace shit from last week where the guy crashed into the Euro uh, soccer match? Like, oh, fuck big oil or whatever. It must have been something mad important for her to want to like, you know what I mean? She, for her to want to get out in front of all these bikers and possibly risk like fucking up the whole race. It must have been something important, right? Let me see. Um, hmm. The sign was a hello message for the woman's grandparents. Get the fuck out of here. Wow. She appeared to hold the sign out so it was in view of the cameras, but it blocked part of the road. Following the crash, the Tour de France Twitter page put out a public service announcement urging in-person spectators not to be fucking idiots. Get the fuck out of here. No, what they said was, uh, don't risk everything for a photo or to get on television. This bitch had to flee the country. The crash caused by the spectator sign was just the first of opening day, by the way. German cyclist Joshua Sweterland fucking germans having all the problems uh he was the first rider to leave the race after the crash and a second accident brought down several others french cyclist julian went on to win the first stage of the 21 stage race crossing the finish line with blood dripping from his knee but really though if you like the minute that shit happened it's like even if you win did you really did you really win though get the fuck out of here i don't know I don't know about that. I don't know how I feel about that. Did you really win is the question I want to know. It's a fucking conspiracy, folks. That's right. The tour de farce. All right. Wow. If you, 
I just want to let you know, if you're not watching this on Twitch live and you're not watching this replayed on YouTube, do yourself a favor, if you haven't already, and watch the video of this crash because it's fucking... Get the fuck out of here! Out of here. Out of here. It's fucking epic. Right? The GTFOH Podcast. Just what the world needed, one more podcast. Get the fuck out of here.